So you want to know how to separate multiple objects uh, in an array and, you know, kind of really easily make these giant big grids of objects. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender. Once again, 2.8 version, you know, because it's looking beautiful. I've been loving it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and with default cube, he's having another day today. I'm going to go ahead and move our lamp just so I didn't get in the way later on. Hit G to move it around there. And middle mouse button to pan around my scene and shift the middle mouse button to do like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the cube here. And then use the the modifiers tab, the little, the little wrench here. Go add modifier, then we'll of course go to array. Now, the array pretty much, if you don't know what it does, is it just duplicates the same thing on whatever axis you tell it to. So right now you see this is a 1 right here. So if I get rid of this is 1 and put a 0, and then put this 1 here, you see it goes this way instead. So if you want to do two at the same time, you will actually have to go ahead and add another one, add another array modifier, and then do it this way. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can do totally go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and I'll do 10 in each direction. There we go, 10. So now we got 10 cube lengthwise. Now, you can see they're all combined, though. So if I hit tab, you can see, well, pretty much it's just going to, like duplicate whatever this mesh is so if I modify this mesh it'll change all of those which is pretty sweet um, but I don't want that so if we hit apply to all both of these boop boop you can see when I hit tab now we have a bunch of random cubes the thing is they're all connected but they're not actually connected they're just like backed up against each other so if I grab the face select tool and grab all three of these faces here and pull it away you can see I can actually pull this cube away if I grab that bottom one too the bottom one, hold down shift, there we go. I can actually pull each individual cube out, but now it's all one giant mesh. We can fix that by going ahead and going hitting, hitting tab, and then hitting A to select everything, hitting P, and then separate by loose parts. Now you can see we've gone out of edit mode, now each one of these cubes is an individual cube. Super cool. There's a problem though. If we want to rotate these, you see the origin is still on the first cube that we ever created. So this cube is, it rotates fine, but this one over here, it rotates like this because it's, it's the, the, the center is in the center. So that's not good. We can go ahead and hit B to box, select everything. Just go ahead and grab all of that. Mm -hmm. And then we go to object, set origin, origin to center of mass. We can do it like this or we can go ahead and go up to object, set origin, origin to geometry. That bo They both work perfectly fine. Now you can see all of the origins are where they belong. Every single one will rotate properly. And that is how you create an array of a bunch of cubes. And then you can go ahead and modify each one and move them around how you want to. So that is it for today's tutorial. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.